in today's video, we're going to talk about how to keep your chickens warm all winter long. Hi, my name's Melina, and welcome to my channel, Homesteading Farm Life. Our videos are all about homesteading, our 40 acre farm, and our animals. Follow our journey and learn how to homestead on your farm or in your backyard. Be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link below. Using heat lamps is really not a good option. I know a lot of people use them and a lot of people swear by them and we actually just discussed the use of heat lamps in our pros and cons video about heating a coop just the other day. The first thing that you need to do to keep your chickens warm all winter is use the deep litter method and that is heating your coop naturally without any electricity. If you're new to the deep litter method, I'm going to leave a link to my video on how to go from the end of fall to the beginning of winter and clean your coop and deep litter it and winterize it so that way you can be prepared. Help to keep your chickens warm by reducing or eliminating drafts. By removing the drafts, you're helping with the humidity level in your coop as well as helping to prevent frostbite on your chickens, waddles, and combs. Also, eliminating your drafts will reduce your wind chill, which will contribute to heat loss. When reducing or eliminating the drafts in your coop, you still want to have really good ventilation. Make sure that your vents are towards the top of your coop, so that way any drafts or wind that does come in will not blow on your chickens. Having proper ventilation is going to help with the ammonia buildup in your coop, especially when using the deep litter method to heat your coop without electricity. You're going to want to open your vents during the day, but close them whenever you, the weather is the coldest, like at night or during snowstorms. Offer your chickens plenty of places to roost. Roosting, chickens huddle together and they puff and fluff their feathers up to create that barrier between them and the cold to help keep themselves warm. Also with roosting they can sit on their feet and prevent frostbite as well as tuck their head underneath their wing to prevent their combs and their waddles from getting frostbite as well. Make sure your roosts are off of the ground. Chickens like to be high. My roost right here, my chickens really only go on the top bar. Uh, sometimes there will be a couple of them on the bottom, but I will have 25 hens all up there on the top roosting bar. So make sure that you offer them roosting that's up off the ground. To prevent frostbite on your hens and your roosters, use Vaseline or petroleum jelly on their waddles and their combs. In the evenings, whenever they're roosting, chickens are really easy to handle. You, you can go in and very simply dip your fingers in the Vaseline and rub it on their waddles and their combs. And the next day, they're going to be better protected from the winds outside and it's going to help them from getting frostbite. Chickens actually do a lot better in the cold than they do in the heat. It's the wind and the rain that gets them. High winds are not good for chickens. Freezing cold rain is even worse. So as long as you can keep your chickens out of the wind and the rain on the bad days, they should have no problem going out and free ranging and roaming around outside of your coop on other cold winter days. Do these things to make sure that your chickens stay happy, healthy, and warm all winter long. Share your thoughts with me. What other things do you do to keep your chickens warm? I would love to see your videos, your photos, and your comments. Please leave them down below. Thank you for watching today's video on homesteading farm life. Please share this video with your friends and click that thumbs up button below. If you're interested in homesteading and farming, why don't you join our journey by clicking the subscribe button and then choosing the little bell icon so you never miss a video. Maybe you're interested in more than just watching homesteading videos. Maybe you want to make some homesteading friends. 
why don't you join me on Facebook in my homesteading Facebook group. I will include a link to the group down in the video description.